Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Kenny Fourteen, and today I have a $600 PC build for you guys called The Crusher. Okay guys, so let's start this build off with a CPU. So for our processor, we have the AMD FX8320 8 core edition, black edition. This has a catch of 8 megabytes and a frequency or a core clock speed of 3.5 gigahertz and can overclock to 4.0 gigahertz. This CPU is an amazing entry level CPU for a $600 budget budget build because I mean this is amazing as a core so good for editing uh, can run games pretty well uh, it's a good gaming computer good gaming CPU because we also I mean the graphics card is the, the part that matters but yeah so this CPU is an amazing CPU for a $600 budget budget build so now that we have our CPU let's go on to our motherboard also as well this CPU is priced at $142 so that's a pretty good price for this CPU okay guys so for our motherboard we have the Gigabyte GA970A DSP DS3P this motherboard can support a CPU with an AM3 plus has up to a maximum capacity of 32 gigabytes of memory so if right now we have eight I'm gonna show you guys the 8 gigabyte memory so you can expand up to 32 which is a whole lot I'd recommend 16 at most but so it has two PCI slots so for later upgrades you can SLI or crossfire your uh, your graphics card or whatever like SLI crossfire they're all called they're the same thing but yeah has two two more PCI slots for attachments such as Ethernet Ethernet um, extensions adapters or sound cards which you can upgrade later as well and for this motherboard, it, all, it already comes with a lane of 10 to 100 to uh, 1,000 megabytes of Ethernet, so you can plug in your Ethernet uh, cable into the motherboard, and you'll get some good internet. So for, and also it comes with uh, four USB 3.0 or 2.0 ports. So for attachable USB USB um, stuff such as microphones or. Um, what is it called again? Those small little dumb drives. Yeah, you can put those in there. We have enough. We have enough for this motherboard. So this is our motherboard. Next up, we're moving on to our memory or or RAM. That's that's what memory is. For the Gigabyte motherboard, it is priced at sixty-five dollars, which is a pretty low price for a motherboard. I mean, it's a good price just for a motherboard that you need to play games or edit it on because they have like motherboards up to like 100 200 bucks which is not necessary for anything because the motherboard isn't really a key I mean it is a key component but not a key component to gaming or editing okay guys so for the memory I have chosen the crucial ballistic sport 8 gigabyte kit for it comes with two sticks of 4 gigabytes DDR3 1600 this ballistic sport memory is the average memory stick that you use for your computers 8 gigabytes is, is enough for most gaming computers so that and later on if you guys want to upgrade you can upgrade to more because it only comes you come I think you still have two or four more slots left for more extra memory so right now 8 gigabytes is enough for gaming and editing okay guys so for the crucial ballistic sport memory this comes at around 45 bucks for 8 gigs of memory and to hold all of our games filed, I have added the Western Digital Blue 1 terabyte Desktop 3.5 inch SATA 6 gigabyte 7200 RPM internal hard drive. This hard drive comes with 1 terabyte of cat capacity and holds up to 200,000 digital photos, 250,000 MP3 files, and 120 hours of HD video. That's enough capacity to hold all our games, files, whatever you guys want to hold in there. But this is an amazing price for a storage. To hold a bunch of our games and files. The Western Digital Blue one terabyte hard drive comes around $53, so not a bad price for a really good hard drive. And to power everything up, I have added the EVGA 500 watt bronze edition PC's power supply. This power supply has continuous power, always trusted by EVGA. This is a really good power supply for our build and it's a bronze so the efficiency is 85% more efficient than the average load. The EVGA 500 bronze 500 watt power supply comes at around $65 so um, kind of expensive but overall you get amazing quality for your power supply. 
for the really essential part of this build, I have chosen the Gigabyte AMD R9 380 GDDR5 4GB graphics card. This great gaming gra graphics card is G1 Gaming, so it's ultra durable, and it's an amazing graphics card for this price point. This graphics card can run most, mostly all games at 1080p, high to medium high medium or ultra settings so i choose this graphics card for an amazing six hundred dollar build and overall for this graphics card the price comes at around two hundred and thirty dollars so right now the price range is really really good for this graphics card and to end off this whole build we will be storing all the parts in the thermal tank versa h2020 window ca1 B300 M1 WN00 mid tower computer Cassie. This is an amazing case. Has a side window. Um, has pre mounting holes to put your motherboard, everything in there. The material is SPCC, which I do not know what that means, but has seven expansion slots. So we have enough. I mean, all, we need, all we're putting is the graphics card. Has one USB 3.0 port in the front. One USB 2.0 port in the front, and one HD HD audio in the front as well. This case is an amazing case, coming at around 45 bucks with a pre-installed one 120 millimeter rear exhaust fan, and you can also add two 120 millimeter intake fan uh, fans to the optimized system filtration with a dust filter. So if you guys did enjoy this build of a $600 budget, actually for real though, it's coming at around $650, so just a $50 more increase, but if you guys do want to build this build, please email me a photo or a video of how if you guys doing it, because I want to see if people like this build. This is an amazing build that you guys should build. I mean, I'd, I'd build it myself, but I don't have enough money right now to build computers all the time, so... Yeah, if you guys did enjoy this build and enjoyed this uh, this video, please hit that like button down below. Um, smack it, kick it, whatever you guys want to do. Subscribe to my channel for more Minecraft videos or videos of all like this made by me, Kenny Fornichin. So that's all to say for now. So I'll check you guys out later.